Okay, this is part number two to my morning commute this morning. I got a little emotional in the previous one, so I had to like cut it for a minute to just regroup. Whew. Okay, so again, I am a completely normal person. I have a day job. I have kids. I have a husband. I have, you know, I'm still trying to reach my higher goals, right? Writing a book, uh, which I haven't touched for like a month which is odd, but, oh, okay, 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 again, all these videos, okay, first, if you've made it this far, I'm going to give you creative rights to, oh, I shouldn't do that, to stitching different, or taking certain things out of my films and putting them together to make them funny, okay, roast me, if you will, with my, my videos, okay, now with that, so when I'm doing a full length of video and I post this only on YouTube, all the other places just get the little clips and bits. So you don't get the fun stuff or the, the but on YouTube you'll get it all. So I was going somewhere with that, okay. I know I say okay a lot. Okay, I watch a lot of film of myself. If you want to be great, you have to watch your film. And that's not just in sports. That's in how you conduct yourself too. And just like this but I will watch it back so I'm I feel like I'm a professional on myself but because I've been filming so much more and really going for a not necessarily like a serious with a very humorous undertone or very positive undertone but serious that hello we have one life well actually I don't believe that I believe we have more than one life we'll get that to another one but it's like you can either choose to learn the hard way like I did I will never say no to that because I did it. I know, I know that that might be needed. However, you have to come out positive. So you've got to have the positive mindset that something's going to work out. And you need to do that now. All right. I don't care if you have to go the hard way, but you need to have a positive, hopeful mindset. And that does start with you. Victor Frankel in the, the man search for meaning. He talks about that. Uh, everybody posts the quote. I don't know verbatim, but saying that man can take everything away from you except for your attitude or except for the way you choose to conduct yourself the way you look at things they can't take that from you and so that's up to you you're the only one that can do that that is up to you a hundred percent okay Zig Ziglar once said I think it was him maybe it was Jim Ron. I think it was actually Jim Ron. um he said, Jim Ron said, Jim Ron said, oh, no one can do, do the, work, the work for you, right? You have to put in the work. No one will do it for you. And I've always thought about that because I was a personal trainer for 20 years, you know, so every analogy that had to do with health and fitness, nutrition, something. So I used to sell my um, my boot campers all the time. I would say, now I can do your push-ups for you, but then I would be getting the results, not you. And you want the results, right? So nobody else can do the work for you and you expect to be paid or expect to have the level of whatever your standard is to be met by somebody who is doing the work for you and you're paying half of what your idea is, right? So I was like, no, somebody can always do the work for you. It's just, you're not going to get paid. So somebody can always do the push-ups for you, but then you're not going to get the results. You got to put in the work. You have to read the whole book. You have to read the whole book. The Clips Notes versions can be fine, but your life is a book. So read the whole book. Don't be a person who just skips to the last chapter to get the book over with. I just want to see what happens at the end. Because then you end up living your life like that. You just want to get to the end. You just want to get to the end goal. But what fun is that? Then you don't know the context. There's no beauty behind it. You know, since you don't know the why. And I know a lot of people will be like, actually, I don't think anybody. No, you don't always have to know the why. But somebody performs better when they do have one. Okay. So I cleared that message up. Whatever that message was meant to be said. However you read it. Okay, 
So I did, I was saying in my earlier story, your perspective matters because there's like five people you tell, one of them it's gonna matter to. Don't focus on the other four, focus on the one. You know that old, um, it's an old, not parable, I guess parable. Once there was this story of a man walking on the beach and there was millions of starfish. Well, he started to pick up a starfish, throw it in the ocean, picked up the next starfish, threw it in the ocean, picked up the next starfish as a young boy walked up to him saying, sir, what are you doing? There's millions on this seashore. There's no way you'll ever get to all of them. Why even do it? He said, there may be millions of starfish on this beautiful beach. And I might not get any more, but you know what? To that one starfish I threw back in that ocean, it mattered to him. I can't really tell a story seriously. You can do a lot of stuff seriously, especially if it's hokey. Like I totally believe in it, okay? I believe in all the hokey crap. All of it, all of it, all of the 